I see it. Somebody signaling. Cavalry uses polished steel. I would use mirrors. Well, if it's a cavalry, it looks like they just ride down here and check on us, don't it? I think we better change plans. Cordis Corner is only about four or five hours' ride from here. It's out of our way, but they got a telegraph wire. We can find out if anything's going on. Three graves to dig, Paul. We got five graves to dig. Two more in there, shot and scalped. I'll be able to find some shovels in the hardware store, and some blankets in the hotel. The graveyard's right down the street. The sooner we get started. I'll take a look. We'll all take a look. enough to get here.
You heard us right in? I heard you. Why the wait? Some by you speak English pretty well. I didn't know who was out there. It took a while before one of you came into sight. How are Illinois in? Why don't you just shout out to us? Mister, you spend four days without water. You haven't got much voice for shouting. Four days? Why, you busted this town just after first light four days ago. How come you're still here now? I was under the bunk. The blanket pulled down. There'll be some keys out there in that mess in the office. The telegraph said the war parties were headed this way. Most folks started folding up, getting ready to fight, and the telegraph went dead. Cut wire, I guess. Everybody spooked. Most of them headed for the hills, hide there. Even the sheriff took off at the last minute. Tall man, gray hair, white shirt, black vest. We found him in the stable, dead. Been cussing that man for four days. Well, I couldn't see what happened to the folks who stayed. But I could hear it. I'm beginning to think one of those braves is wearing those keys for a trophy or something. Yeah. Hey, there they are. I found something, too. Take a look at this. Uh, that, that could be enough where you'll make yourself sick. Now, come on. Oh, it's good. That's got to be the best there ever was. There's something else I heard. Four days and nights in this sweat box. I heard water splashing in that fountain. If you want to drive somebody crazy, that's the way to do it. What'd you say your name was? I didn't say. Nobody asked. Oh, my name's Ben Cartwright. This is uh, Candy. My son's Joan Hoss. Candy, much obliged for the water. Driving some horses through a vine trip in Utah. Cut right. I've heard that name. You got a big spread up Virginia City Way. I'm glad to hear you got horses. I was wondering what I was going to ride when you let me out. Hey, well, in the meantime, what about the name? The persistent cuss, ain't you? The name's Kelly, Mike Kelly. I got tossed in here for tearing up that saloon. You know, I must say, Mr. Kelly, you look wonderful for a man 72 years old. 72? Yeah, right here in the ledger. Mike Kelly, age 72, weight 130 pounds, charge common drunk. You gained a little weight, Mike. Yeah, you know, for a man that hadn't had any food or water for four days, I'd say that's a pretty good trick. Well, maybe this makes a little more sense. Josh Tanner, age 30-some, weight 180. Charge first degree murder. Yeah. Too bad you found that book. Kind of put you in the middle, doesn't it, Mr. Cartwright? You uh, can't stay here. Can't leave you here to starve to death or die of thirst. We could use another drover. You take me along, you turn me over to the law when you get home? If you get home? Suppose I say no. He's a real hard nose, ain't he? When he has to be. You related? No, I work for him when there's nothing better to do. He's fair and honest. He won't ask you to do anything he wouldn't do himself. Honest, huh? Yeah, 
honest ones that get me in trouble. Well, like you said, it's your choice. That's a big country out there. It's Paiute country now. A man on foot wouldn't have a prayer. A hand. For starters, I'll take that shovel. Now, no, for starters, you'll get yourself something to eat. Four days without food, you're no good to us. Find yourself something to eat and then spill off Joe up there. I'll get some grub and eat up there. This headstone might interest you. Murder. In Coulter Corners, that's what they call it when a Coulter gets shot. Even if it's a fair fight, and he draws first. About a month's pay, the Paiutes didn't leave one gun, let alone two. They're holdout guns, in case of trouble in the saloon. Old Pete kept them on a shelf up under the bar. The Paiutes were so busy grabbing whiskey, they didn't think to look. So how come you remember they were there? The last time I saw this scatter gun, it was aimed at my head. Field glasses, compass, and calf. That colonel must have kept one of everything in the army, I reckon. Well, add uh, 20 buttons to that list. Yes, sir. Hey, make it out. All this stuff's ready to go, Joe. Good enough. Fair and honest, huh? Looks to me like they're cleaning house. We got a saddle, a bridle, and a blanket, and these saddlebags from the livery stable. Come on. Tanner got a shotgun, a 45, and a bottle of whiskey at us alone. Better end that, the list. Such an IOU, I've got 12 shotgun shells and half a box of 45s. Well, as soon as we finish here, we'll ride out, huh? Fair and honest. And a waste. Everything in this town is owned by somebody out in that graveyard. Take care of you. You're safe now. Didn't know I'd be needing this so quick. <coughs> Mr. Staley is dead. The Indians. You know her, Tanner? 
I saw her around town for the last month or so. I think she was passing through from somewhere back east. Mr. Cartwright, unless you don't mind leaving her behind, I guess we won't be riding out. And within two hours, everyone, the whole town was running for their lives. They were loading up wagons, buggies. Everyone had a different idea which direction to go. I don't have any family here. I have a horse. But Mr. Staley was kind enough to take me in his buckboard. He thought we could make it to Lathrop. Only an, an hour or so from town, near Rocky Point. Miss Burns, you, you don't have to talk about it. No, I, I want to. Somebody has to know. Suddenly, out of, out of nowhere, we saw three of them. Mr. Staley told me to get off the wagon and hide in the rocks. He almost pushed me off. And then he whipped the horses into a run so the Indians would follow him. And he made it over the ridge and they galloped after him. Quite a man. Later. Later, the, the Paiutes rode past where, where I was hiding, and I heard them. I heard them laughing and yelling. And one of them was Carrie. <laughs> Mrs. Barnes, it. You're right. I'm Josh Tanner, the man they said killed Billy Coulter. Cartwrights know they found me in the jail. Everything all right out there? So far. Candy sent me in to rustle up something for supper. You'll find plenty of grub over there. Mrs. Burns, we found these in the general store. You're going to need them. I know I'm delaying you. Mrs. Burns... The pirates have come and taken whatever it was they wanted and they've gone. We're just about as safe here as any place. Till tomorrow, maybe. Are you going to get yourself a good rest tonight? And we'll all be ready to ride out early in the morning. Tanner, I will leave you at sunset. Thank you. what I heard, that he shot the culture boy, Bill. That's all I know. I I've only been here for three weeks. I've been waiting for my husband to send me stagecoach fare from Virginia City. But we're from Ohio, Mr. Cartwright. Paul couldn't make a go of it, and he's trying to work something out in the silver mine. You know, we're from Virginia City. Yes, your, your son Joseph told me. You never should have left, and I never should have started out. No. Sorry. Guess that's not the right thing to say. It's just that... I don't feel I'll ever be a pioneer woman. And I hate to admit it. I'm afraid. Ma'am... Let me tell you something. You women call it being afraid. We men call it being cautious. It's just about the same thing. I think 
these horses would feel a lot better if we let them run free. Yeah, man, they would at that, but Paul wants to bled. That's the way it's going to be. Now, he's the boss. They're his horses. They're good stallions. Fine as I ever saw. You know, if the Paiute knew there were animals like this around, they'd come howling over that hill 150 strong. You seem to know them pretty well. I had a little horse ranch of my own till they came howling out of the sunrise one morning. You all right, ma'am? You need some water or anything? No, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. We better get them moving. Come on, come on. Get them. Like that one? Boy, I didn't get a chance to look. I think it was just a scout. Well, there's another one. Right up there. Lots of fires. Only four. I was beginning to think you were inviting a Paiute to supper. What changed your mind? The way you lit the fires after sunset. When it's too dark to see the smoke and still too light to see the flames. It's a smart trick. How are the stallions? Well, they're bedded down, resting easy. I see what you got in mind. If the Paiute come onto our track, they'll think we're a column of cavalry. They find this camp with four cold fires, bits and pieces of soldiers' gear sticking out of the grass. They'll be sure of it. I hope so. You may find out pretty quick. Hoss told me he thought he saw a flash just before sunset. North of us this time. Be 
sleeping. Virginia City. Your husband is there, waiting. I don't care. If I never show up, Paul will think it was the Indians. Either we make it to Virginia City or we don't make it anywhere. But we could leave them somewhere along the way. I've got Cartwright pegged. He has an obligation to turn me in and he will. But you didn't kill Billy Coulter. He drew first. He walked into my room with a gun in his hand. But who knows that? Except you and me. Then I've got to tell them. I told you to keep quiet at the inquest. And you did. You're going to have to do the same thing now. But I can't, Josh. They'll hang you. What about you? Your whole life will be ruined. <sighs> My life is ruined if I'm not with you. You never knew Paul, Josh. But it was over before I met you. He's a fine man. And I admire him. But I don't love him. Don't say it. Just keep quiet. Promise. A liar's promise. A lady's promise. I promise. Anything? No. Couldn't sleep nerves, I suppose. I was just telling Mrs. Burns how the Paiute, in fact, most Indians, won't raid at night. Yes, I've heard that, but I don't think I believe it. No, it's, it's true, all right. It's uh, part of their religion. They believe that if a, if a warrior is killed during the night, his spirit is lost and wanders forever looking for his happy hunting ground. But well, I think you ought to try to sleep, Mrs. Burns. Yes, I will. Thank you. Well, we best be ready to move out at dawn. Keep up, but I'm so tired. Can't we rest for a little? Not if you want to keep that pretty hair of yours. We've got to keep moving. Here we go.
Just like that, huh? You just let him grab her and ride off. Didn't even go after her. Well, that figures. You had to save your expensive stallions. You got a good-sized gas in the back of your head. Cleaned it best I could. Thank you for that. Your gun's on the ground right behind you. Thanks, you had. Here we got them all. He dropped some. Well, that Mrs. Burns. She rode with us. She was sick, was scared. She never whimpered. If you're not interested, I'm going after her. Tanner, I'll go with you. Now, what he's going anywhere. Even if you were lucky enough to catch up with him before they got to the main camp, he'd still kill her before he could do a thing about it. You know the pie you cut, right? You know what they'll do to her. Yes. And when they're through with her, they'll sell her to the Comancheros. Look, you don't own me. I'm going after her. You stay right where you are. You don't need me. One man more or less won't make any difference. You listen to me. You listen good. The Paiute aren't going to do anything till they boast and brag and work themselves up to it. And there's one place they're not going to be looking for us. And that's right in their own camp. All going? Yeah, all of us. here. Got a rope corral right in here. Teepees set in here. Now, when we were in luck, it's not the main camp, just a raiding party. Can't be more than old 25, 30 Indians. I noticed a guard in front of this end teepee. I figure that's where they got Mrs. Burns. Well, head on attack won't work. Mrs. Burns will be the first one killed. Paul, those pirate mares in that corral. If they could see or smell our stallions, they'd run with them, if they could get out of that corral. It's a pretty solid rope corral. Somebody have to get in there and cut it. The wind's toward the lake. We could time it right to the minute. Is there any ground cover there at all? Yeah, yeah, there's some here. You'd have to stay pretty low. You're thinking of that guarded teepee. That's my job. I lost the lady. I'll get her back. It's a two-man job. You can't do it yourself. My kind of work? All right, that's yours. Joe, the crown's your job. Right, Paul. Horse in the timber. The saddle horses. Now, I'll bring three stallions right down here.
It'll take a minute or two to see about this axle. If you uh, want to go see the sheriff, he's right over there. I'm in no big hurry. Thought you might want to walk in by yourself. I'm going to tell him everything that happened. Mary. Maybe that'll help me, and maybe it won't. But sure as shooting, it'll ruin your life. I don't care what people say about me. I care. Especially when the things they say are ugly. And women only whisper them. I don't want that to happen to you. The worst that can happen to me is I'll do time in prison. And I'll survive. I'm not sure I will. Yes, you will. You're married. Any man you'd marry, you've got to be quite a guy. You know he's checking every stage and rider coming in, asking about you. You're just making it worse. Mary, look at me. You were stuck in Coulter Corners, alone and scared, fighting off Billy Coulter when I rode in. What happened then has happened before. People get over it. Ready? I got no choice. The law was holding you, then it's Yes, clear. you do, Sheriff. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. Sheriff, this lady's trying to help me because she thinks she owes me something. She's going to tell you that she saw the shooting, but she didn't. She wasn't even in Coulter Corners. Thanks for the try, Mrs. Burns. Coulter Corners. That's Lexington County, isn't it? That's right. A week... 
After you and the boys left, the governor sent Judge Spear. Look into things. A lot of talk at old Colonel Calder played fast and loose with the law. The judge had to come back, count the rates. Uh-huh. Did I tell you? Yes, I did. God, you're safe. We're together. You're a very lucky woman, Mrs. Burns. These are the two men that saved my life. Mr. Cartwright, this is my husband. Mr. Cartwright, how can I thank you? No need. Mr. Tanner. Mr. Tanner, I'm very grateful. And the sheriff, I know, I'm afraid I've been a nuisance every day asking about you. Worked out fine. How can I ever thank you? You've seen all the thanks I need. We're all thankful. Mr. Tanner. Thank you for everything. Goodbye, Mrs. Byrne. Thank you. All I could do, dear, was hope. It sounded so horrible. What wonderful men to bring you through. Yes, you'd have liked them. They were fine men. Mr. Tanner, you're not going to be in here very long. When you get out, how about signing on with us at the Ponderosa? Thanks. I'd best move along. Deputy, if I've got a choice, give me the cell with the best bed. I can use it. <laughs> 